they said you can't choose who you fall in love with well i said this bees is also a very dangerous way to think if we believe we don't have control over our emotions and choices then we are in a for a very wide and not so great right the truth is we have a choice regarding who we date or who we decide to invest emotionally we are in control of our happiness and actions it is pretty obvious the more we spend time with someone the more we grow a bond with them especially when we are being physically intimate and of course our heart usually follows our action and before you know it we are head over heels in love with Hello my wonderful family, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lilian's Mindset, if you are new here. And if you are my old subscribers, thank you, God bless you. In today's video, I'm going to share with you guys 7 reasons you need to raise your standard for men and women. 7 reasons we need to raise our standard for both couples. Number 1 is you are awesome and your life and your love should be awesome too if there is one thing in life that shouldn't be average that's love and the second is coffee stop letting your fear of being single hold you back from wanting for a love that is everything you ever hoped would be number two where you set your own bar determines how anyone else is going to treat you. The way in which we love and value ourselves essentially sets up the way in which we let other people love, value, or mistreat us. It is funny how we develop this unconscious attitude towards our own actions, words, and treatments of ourselves when we realize just how much we are what. We set the standard for other people to also see our value. Or if they don't, we at least know when to block those people from our lives. Number three, love is a tricky business, so make it a little easier for yourself. Relationships are hard enough without adding to, to the drama because we forgot to set a standard by being clear about what you want in the beginning and knowing when and when not to compromise you give yourself a head start no one wants a constant battle or to be mis miserable because we let our values slip stick to your guns before you give your heart away so that you can actually fall in love with someone who is good both to you, to you and for you number four Having standards means a, great, a greater chance of having happiness. Number four, having standards means a greater chance of having happiness. When we feel a healthy sense of self-love and a sense of what we are really want and need, life becomes so much easier. It also means that we only attract the right type of relationship into our lives. Because we are able to identify the toxic ones when you know what the red flags looks like it becomes easier to be able to touch them and less drama and headache generally means more peace and happiness in our lives number five you can sort the good from the bad and the ugly when you are a woman who knows what you want and deserve or a man who knows what he wants and deserves, you will be able to sort the wet from the chaff. If a man does, doesn't live up to your realistic or a woman and healthy 
standards, then it is clear he isn't worth your time. Save yourself the headache, save yourself the drama, time, money, and emotional drainage. Set the boundaries and you will be able to focus on only inviting the right one into your heart and life. Number six, you give yourself permission to grow and flourish. Goodness, life is so much easier when a relationship are easy too. I am sure some of you can relate to what it is like to be in a draining and unfulfilling relationship. It saps all your energy and thoughts, leaving you feeling exhausted. Needless to say, it is also puts the rest of our growth and life on hold. When you set a healthy standard for a relationship, it gives you permission to shine and grow and flourish in all areas of your life. Number seven, you get to experience a love like never before. This is, this is has to be the best reason to set standard. That is why I saved it for last. When wants to be miserable and settle for second best, my guess is no one who you raise the bar to match your work. You also give yourself the chance to invite an incredible love into your life. And love should be incredible. Yes, there will be the hard times, but overall, it needs to be full of joy. So do yourself a favor and stop limiting what could possibly be based on your fears and insecurities and doubts. So we need to, in conclusion, we need to know ourselves. We need to reason. We need to ask ourselves some questions and we don't need to belittle ourselves. We are important. Anyone that is alive has to say tomorrow. But when you are dead, you are not there. What will be your gain? Be alive and fight whatever that is you are, that, that is you are facing. Be you woman, be you man. Nobody deserves to die because of order. You need to fight it together. But if it's not working, you quit. You get out of it and save your life. So I will stop this video here today. So see you in my next video. Bye-bye. One, two, three, four.